loves, how are you guys doing? All right, I'm actually going to do yet another haul. I know some of you guys have made the comments that I do too many hauls, but I actually went out and got these things to um, do a request that was asked of me, and that request was, one, one of my subscribers wanted to know how I could make different ornaments because she has to make some ornaments, so I'm gonna do a tutorial on that. Another one was cheap gift ideas. And, well, not so much cheap gift ideas, but I had a subscriber ask me how, you know, my thoughts on uh, making inexpensive gift bags or gift baskets. So I went and got a couple things just to make something simple. And so let me show you. And then I wanted to share a few things with you guys. I actually wanted to show you. As you know, I make bows all the time. But I wanted to show you guys Jossie's first attempt at making her own bow. And she just put one of these little clippy deals. But look at how good she did. For her first bow, I was so impressed. So I wanted to share that. Um, I also wanted to share these bracelets that I will be making and selling. They are stretchy. They just stretch right on. And it's a flower. This one's got zebras and um, all that other good stuff. It was really fun to make these. So... If you guys are interested, I will be posting these um, on my Etsy site as well as on my blog. Um, oh, in terms of my nail polish today, I'm just wearing one of these NYC nail polishes. So that's what that looks like. This is a new angle, so hopefully you guys are seeing everything because I don't have the mirror behind me. Um, and I know you're going to laugh. I, a lot of people have been talking about these mini albums. And so I've made this, like, just a little attempt just to play around. And this is my little mini album. And the first part is that. And then there's this with a tag. And then I put rhinestones. I'm a rhinestone fanatic. This doesn't have anything yet. I was just playing around. This is with um, the snowman that I bought from the Dollar Tree, but I embellished it. And I put some more glitter around. And so there's that. There's that. And there's some glitter on here. There's that that and there's my little Christmas tree and I just put rhinestones on it to look like ornaments and then there's a flower that I just took and put paint over it to give it that pop there's another page and then there's the end of it now you guys are gonna laugh this is a recycled tampon box you know like the boxes like from tampon tampack tampax or whatever and I just cut it to fit this and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make another one of these books, but it's going to be, um, you just cut out pieces, put your own type of paper. It doesn't have to be cardstock. It could be any kind of paper. But after looking at this, because it doesn't have the pullouts like you see in a lot of the, um, like the ones where they're made out of tissue rolls or the ones that are made out of, um, paper bags, which I'll be doing those in the future too. But what I thought about doing this is I just cut, to put two punches on the ends, but a great idea for Christmas gifts, you guys, is you could take just any, any box, cut up these little square pieces. This is two by fives or two by four, something like that. Um, just cut those out, put paper over it, and you can make your own, what are they called? Receipts. I mean, not receipts. Um coupons like love you know you could do these for the holidays you could do love coupons but for you kids even as adults you could make it for like um one day i don't talk back or um get out a free jail card you know little things like that and then you give it to your loved ones and then they can present them to you and it's a cheap affordable christmas idea just the thought so if you want to see how to make these and you want to do the Christmas book ideas, let me know because Christmas is right around the corner and I'm trying to get, I'm going to try to get out as many different affordable ideas out there for you guys. So that's one. Or you can even make a little scrapbook for your family members or, you know, albums, all that stuff. We all love that stuff. Okay. Then I made, um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on these if you guys want. I made these little flowers and you can put them in your hair or you can use them on crafters or you can even make a ring out of them so I made that one and then there's that one and then these are the lollipop ones that I made so and I matched my nail polish 
So there's that one and it's just got a little rhinestone in the center. And then these ones I made don't have anything in them. And then here is another one and this is out of organza. So you could see this, this, the pieces that were cut were the exact same size, but you could see the differences and in size that you would get depending on what fabric you use. So those are some things that I wanted to share with you guys that I have recently made and that Jossie did. And I'm going to have some crafting tutorials up as well as my makeup collection video today. So Renee already says he'll record me when he comes home today. So this is my... Oh, I also wanted to show you guys this. Renee got me this cute little Hello Kitty Pez dispenser when he went to Walmart to pick up some stuff for the, the house. So I thought it was cute and I wanted to share it with you because Jossie has been wanting to tear it open. So if you are a Hello Kitty fan, they do have these at Walmart now. Okay. So on to my Dollar Tree haul. I got the, this is a comb and mirror that I got. It's Tinkerbell and it's going to actually go into Jocelyn's stocking, which brings me to her stocking this year. I'm obviously going to put her name on it and whatnot and personalize it and put more bling on it to like really make it stand out. Like I'm going to put red bling on the little hollies and you know, so yeah, I'm going to really make it pop for her with her name and everything. But I got this at the Dollar Tree. Since she's so in love with Tinkerbell, I thought I would get her a Tinkerbell stocking. And then, like I said, somebody had asked for ornaments. I didn't even realize that I had broken one. Shame on me. But this, um, I'm actually going to be decorating them so you could see. And this is just a general idea of how you could decorate it in the back. Then I picked up some of these little ornaments as well because you can blend these up however you want. You can use them for crafting as well or just for the holidays. You can use them to put them on your Christmas tree. You know, it's something really nice to make the Christmas tree look amazing. These are also some decorating ideas. Then for my sweet dear friend, um, Allison, Lorraine's daughter, I picked her up this. I just recently discovered she likes rubber duckies, so I had to get that for her. Okay, then of course I had, everybody's had these leaves. I did not find the larger leaves, but I found the smaller ones made out of fabric, and I thought that this matched perfectly to the lollipop ones, and you could just put a, match it up for hair accessories, so I got that. Then of course I'm going to be making cookies with the kids, and this is just the cookie cutter six pack. It's always fun to do like, you know, a lot of our kids are home for the holidays and so it's always nice to do something special with them when they're not in school. So I did that. I got that to do with them. And again, another ornament idea since, you know, I like I said, she has to make 23 different ornaments was these and they're cheap. You can make three ornaments for a dollar. So there's another idea. Okay, and like I said, I'm going to be making an affordable gift basket. So this is what I picked up for the gift basket. Hold on. Well, oh no, hold on, I missed up. I also picked up this ice cube tray with the snowman. So I want to see if I can do resin with it, but we'll see. If not, it's no big deal. Okay, then I picked up this little bingo marker for crafting. Okay, so on to the oh, tiger. Okay, so on to what I picked up for the gift basket. You had, oh wait, I'm sorry, I also got these leaves. They're different, like the copper and the gold. And that's gonna be for my scrapbooking and whatnot. Okay, so basically, I will do a tutorial following this. I just picked up this plain gift basket and I was going to fill it with this so that would go inside and then you can fill it with the nail polish that I got and you know there's two of them for a dollar. This is another thing that you could do and you could fill this up and put goodies inside of it. And then of course everybody loves candles so you can put candles inside your gift basket. And this is just an affordable idea lipstick inside your basket, another eyeshadow, oh. a 
terry cloth to relax in the back. And then of course, if you want, you can add bath bombs or whatever you want. So that's just like a simple idea. I had some here. I had some bath stuff here, so I didn't pick any more up from the Dollar Tree. Um, but I'm going to be making this gift basket, showing you guys how to make it. Um, and like I said, this was one, two, three, four, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then of course, if you buy some of the soaps there, you can have a gift for, oh, nine. You can have a gift for about 11 or $12. Something simple, something cute. You know, if you want to hand make it. But, you know, possibilities are endless. And then of course, I picked up some Smarties for my older son. He likes to sell them for swagger bucks, and I am a hot mess now. So anyways, that's that. And my husband's jacket keeps sticking to me. So stay tuned for the Cuddlebug tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and get that out today, as well as my makeup collection and the gift basket tutorial. The gift basket, what, you can, what I'm going to also do afterwards is I'm actually going to present this to one lucky winner because my contest ended yesterday for my sweet friend Ashley, so the winner for that will be announced tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, that's that. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and remember I love you guys. Bye now.